In this video, I will show you how to add a thinking voice effect in Audacity. On the screen, you can see the audio sample on which I will add the thinking voice effect. Let's hear the original recording a bit. I will make this voice a thought voice, an easy effect in Audacity. The first step will be to duplicate this audio track. I will select the whole audio track by double-clicking and make a duplicate track using Command D on the keyboard. If you are on Windows press Ctrl D to make a duplicate track. The next step will be shifting the second track to the right. There are several ways to shift the second track and I will show you one by one. The easiest one is to use this Time Shift tool. Click the Time Shift tool icon and this tool will be selected. You can see the cursor changes when I take it inside a track. Now you can shift the track to right or left. How far should you shift the track depends on the voice, but you can experiment. To measure the shifting, I will zoom the tracks more, so I see detailed timing information. I will change back to the selection tool again. Audio in the first track is starting from 0.10 seconds. In the second track, it is from 0.30 seconds, so there is a delay of 0.20 seconds between the tracks. You can adjust this delay to get your desired effect. Next, you have to adjust the gain slider in the second track. It's up to you how much gain to decrease, but try with different values to get your desired sound effect. I will keep this to minus 10 dB for now. Thinking voice is now made and let's hear it. I will, I will make, make this, this voice, voice a thought, a thought voice, voice, an easy, easy effect, effect in Audacity. In Audacity. You can experiment by shifting the second track to find the desired effect. I will select the time shift tool again. This time I will make the delay a bit shorter. There is no hard and fast rule on the delay, just try with different values to find the best effect you can get. This time the delay is just above 0.10 seconds. Let's hear it. I will, I will make, make this, this voice, voice a thought voice, voice an, an easy, easy effect, effect in Audacity. Audacity. So this one is better than the previous one. The time shift tool is not the only way to introduce delay. I will now show another tool to do this. Let's remove this second track. I will zoom out to the original position and make a duplicate again. Click on a silent part at the beginning and go to generate silence. This gives you an easier way to introduce a precise amount of delay. When you do not need to experiment with delay, or you know exactly how much delay you want to add, you can use the silence generator. This duration is in hour minutes seconds format. I will change this from 0.25 seconds to 0.15 seconds. You now see a silent part is added where the cursor was. Next thing is to adjust the gain slider. I will set it to minus 7 dB this time. Let's hear it. I will, I will make, make this, this voice, voice a thought voice, voice an, an easy, easy effect, effect in Audacity. Audacity. There is another quick way to introduce delay. Select a silent part and make a copy with Command C or Control C. Then paste with Command V or Control V. I will make, I will make this, voice this voice a thought, a thought voice, voice, an easy, an easy effect, effect in Audacity. Audacity. So this is how you can add a thinking voice effect. Let me know in the comment what other effects you would like to see. I have made this video and a telephone voice effect video based on your feedback. Please like this video if it is any help to you. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Till then take care.